Hi! Hi folks! In Tokyo, Japan, there's a prestigious university, Sophia University, and on their faculty staff happens to be a professor by the name of Kochi Nakano. Hope I said that right. Forgive me if I did make some errors in the pronunciation. This professor, Nakano, is, the, is or was the faculty advisor to a gentleman named Norman uh, Norman Mickey Dezaki, who produced the fake documentary, the main battleground of the comfort woman issue, which was filled with a whole lot of inaccuracies, deception, and at the end concluded with an anti-American rant. We'll put that aside. Let's get back to the professor. He wrote an editorial that appeared in the New York Times. Wow! The New York Times is an extreme left newspaper. It's to the left of Karl Marx. So naturally this editorial would appear in there. And in the professor's editorial that appeared in the New York Slime Times, he is extremely critical of uh, Prime Minister Abe and his administration for the handling of the Kami virus that's infected the planet and Japan. Yeah. See, he could be critical because he could do a better job. But I challenge this professor and anyone else who is critical of Prime Minister Abe and his administration in the handling of this virus at the beginning Show me what nation did a better job at the beginning of this pandemic. Oh, I know what he'll, he'll probably point to. China! <laughs> That's who he'll probably point to. Almost every nation did not handle it with hindsight as we look back in a manner which we wish they would have handled it. It was a new virus plaguing the world. But he was critical of Japan and its handling of it, Prime Minister Abe and the administration. John Hopkins University is noted for its research here in the United States. And they put out a map and listings updating figures and statistics on the COVID virus. Let's take a look, and this is as of the 22nd of May, 2020, the date I'm making this video. Let's look at the debts around the world that's listed by John Hopkins University. As you can see, the United States is number one in its debts. Let's scroll down further and see if we can find Japan. Go away, there's Japan, number 28. Number 28 in debts as of the 22nd of May. Now you're going to tell me that's a poor handling of it? No, I do not think so. Remember, figgies do not lie, but lies figure. Hmm. <laughs> I sure hope that this professor does not typify the professors at this university, which being extreme left wing. You have enough of these problems with professors such as that here in the United States, they're almost all to the left of Karl Marx. And I sure hope that the universities and colleges in Japan are not being equally infested by this plague coming across the Pacific from the United States and exhibiting itself in this one professor at this one university. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be, and God bless our good friends and trusted allies in the land of the rising sun, Niankoku, Japan. Nippon! <laughs>